All right, hey guys, I just got my box with my Lulzbot. Um, it's got the 0.5 millimeter nozzle on it, so it prints a little faster, and it just came in the mail. So I'm gonna take it apart, or unbox it, I guess. All right, this is a nice, fancy, wow, they mean business. Wow, it, there's an, an entire pamphlet about how to unpack your printer. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Wow, this is cool! Alright, I need to figure out what I'm doing. So this seems to be where all the, I'm guessing, cables and accessories... Oh! Alright, great. It's got a, a print. This looks like a print that actually came out of this printer. Wow, that's really nice. Oh, man, that's really nice. Oh, that's fantastic. So this, I'm assuming, is printed on my printer. And it looks like they gave me some practice filament that I can use for just kind of test printing if I didn't have any already, but I do. I have a spool of red that I bought from Lowell's Pop, Red PLA. Oh, it comes with an SD card, sticker, and this looks like the for real manual. So that's what's in the accessory box. Wow, they talk about slicer profiles for this thing. Wow, this is, this is for real. It's making me feel better about spending so much money on it. Wow, this is so, this feels so professional. This is so different than when I unbox my, um, Solid rule. Okay, so that's the accessory box. Did they not give me a tool bag? They wouldn't. Wow, that thing is pretty. Wow, they really mean business with this packing. Oh, there it is. Left side? Oh, they're assuming I'm opening it the other way. Okay, so they comes with a Lulzbot tool bag. And inside, they, there's a ton of great stuff in here. A whole Allen wrench. Is that metric? That's a metric? Yeah, that's a metric Allen wrench kit. That's cool, they're all in metric. An X-Acto knife? What? A ruler. I know that it comes with like a clam knife or like a putty knife too, for getting prints off the bed. Even those pliers. This bag is great. This has a lot of great stuff in it. So it comes with this. That's super fancy. I really like that it came with that. It makes me feel, as I'm unpacking this, I'm feeling so much better about spending $2,200 on this thing. Okay, here's the extruder. It's a modified Greg's Wade. Um, hard filament extruder. This is not for Ninja Flex, although I think there are some modifications you can do. It's be all the parts are beautiful print quality. I'm assuming, of course, they print them on Taz's, but wow, that's really nice. It's got the fan with the shroud, and this is their all metal hexagon hot end. It gets up to 300 degrees C. Wow, that's really pretty. And I have the 0.5 um, millimeter nozzle, so I can print much faster, <clears throat> be putting out a lot more material. I'm not at all doing what they want me to. Pshaw. This is huge! Whoa! Do I see the nameplate? I do, and it will be up. So now we're gonna grab it by the aluminum, just like they said. They even have the foam cut for rotating. If everything were white, this would be an experience of opening an Apple product. This is really a beautifully designed packaging, too. Everything is really well done. Alright, so here we have our Y-axis, so this has the print bed on it. That is a huge print bed. Look at the size of this thing. That is huge. And it's got one belt, which is a huge upgrade for me from my solid doodle because that has two and they need to be the perfect tension uh, together. But this one, you can just tighten one, which is going to be really nice. 3D printed plate clamps. It's got that, uh, I forget the name of it, but it's that material on the uh, print bed that you don't need to put glue or tape or anything on. Oh, that's where you adjust the bed height, the Allen wrench is there with the springs, that's the same as the solid doodle, that's nice, I know how that works. I'm gonna pick this up, if you could just move the box out from underneath, just pull it your way as long as there's nothing in the way, ready? Mm -hmm. That's got some weight to it, it's not horribly heavy, but... Alrighty, so this thing, just still in the packaging, is beautiful, it's huge, this is a huge machine. Uh, remove the red protective packing clips from the Z... That's what they- these 3D printed things they do are packing clips. <coughs> these are packing clips. What? And see how they like come apart and snap like this? These are for packing exclusively. Oh, weird. Isn't that wild? Look at that! They designed this whole like fit together bracket <laughs> just for packing. <laughs> You've got a hand to this company. They oh have, yeah, yeah. They are- they have thought this whole thing through. I mean, this is, this is one of the reasons why open source, I think, will be successful, is that although, yeah, all this stuff is online, no one is going to buy all the individual parts 
because these people do it so well. You just spend the money and you get it. No, not a lot of people want to do it from scratch. Not enough to ruin your business, I think. Hey guys, so my camera died when I was part of the way through unboxing my printer and I didn't realize it till afterwards. But since then, I've gotten the entire thing unpacked. I don't know if you can hear it going in the background, but it's running beautifully. I've run so many prints on it so far. So I'm going to show you it running. So this is my Lulzbot Taz 5 running right now. I'm printing a phone stand for my mom in a white ABS. It's a Gizmo Dorks 3 mil white ABS. This is a Mars rover that I printed, a Curiosity rover. These are also the settings out of the box. Lulzbot releases profiles for Cura and Slicer and everything. I literally just downloaded those profiles and within an hour, of having the printer set up, it was running a beautiful print. So I actually had some problems putting this part earlier with this ABS. I was getting some splitting along the edge and some peeling up, especially on this corner back here, this was lifting. But what I did was I turned off the fan. So now you can see it's at 1% up here. And turning off the fan helped so tremendously. I was getting all kinds of delamination issues. And then I turned off the fan, it was great. I'm not getting peeling up off the bed anymore. I also added a brim. The brim helped a ton, I used 10 mil. For essentially all the ABS parts that I print, I use a brim now just to be safe. And I haven't had a problem since, it's been printing beautifully. I printed, this is a, a Prince Rupert's Cube that I modeled and printed out in uh, PLA. It came out beautifully. Nut and bolt came out really nice as well. These are all just the settings out of the box except for the little bit of ABS. This is the test print that they gave me that I showed you earlier. And then I tried to print the same file right afterwards with a practice filament, but I didn't have enough to finish. <laughs> so I just printed what I had. But yeah, this printer has been nothing but easy. I put it in my slicer profile. It takes me 30 seconds to slice. No, it takes like four seconds to slice. It takes me 30 seconds to get it on the SD card. Then I pop it in here on the side. And you can change all kinds of things mid-print. You can pause the print from the LCD. It tells you how long it's been running in a bar. I wish that it would tell me how long the estimate was on this thing. It tells me in the slicer, but the slicer's always wrong with the estimate. So I kind of just wait for it to go for a little bit. You can see it's about an hour at this point. So I guess maybe this would take five hours, maybe. Five and a half would be my guess. So I just kind of guess at that point. That's how I figure out how long a print will take. But I've had no problems with the clog extruder. No mechanical issues. It really just works out of the box. Prints stick to the surface very, very well. I've been using a little bit of um, purple glue to get it to stay. Um, Elmer's washable purple disappearing glue, and that works wonderfully. I use that on my old solid doodle here, and that works great for getting parts to stick, no problem. But if you are in the market for a 3D printer and you have a fairly high budget, this thing was $2,200, I think. If you have the money for it, this thing is unparalleled, one of the best printers I think that is out there. It comes with all kinds of, this is a decal bag. I mean, they really bust out all the stops for all the tools they give you. I definitely suggest buying this printer. It is wonderful.